In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my piston. And I'm going to leave some of the numbers off because I want you to, to just get an idea of how to make it. Um, but I am going to start with a 3-inch um, uh, diameter piston because I want you to get an idea of what, you know, what I'm, I'm expecting or the exact size that, that I want to make it. Um, okay, so I'm going to start in my front view. And I'm going to turn off all my um, uh, turn off all my planes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the center here. And I'm going to draw up. Um, I need a little bit more space here. I'm going to draw up three. And I'm going to go out this way 1.5. So I am going to use the revolve command, oops, 1.5. I'm going to use the revolve command, so I want my piston to be 3 inches in diameter, so I'm making it go out 1.5 inches. So um, I'm going to draw the side view of this, and actually, you know, I, 3 inches wide and 3 inches tall is probably a little too tall, so I'm going to make this 2.5. Instead, so it's going to be a little bit shorter than than it is wide. I'm going to come down and I'm going to give my my grooves for my um, uh, oil uh, um, oil rings. I want three little grooves. I want you to measure them. Um, then I'm going to come down a little bit. And I'm going to come in just a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not doing sizes on purpose because I want you to actually come up with your own sizes. Once I close it in, it should uh, do, you know, do something like this. So it'll, it'll you know, make it a closed polygon. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to do something a little bit different now. So I'm, gonna, um, I'm actually going to scoot these up and make them smaller. So you want two small ones and one that's a little bit bigger. These are my grooves for my piston, uh, my oil rings. And then I'm going to bring this up. So this is just one design that I came up with over, you know, over a while ago. Um, and uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not the right thing. It's not the wrong thing. It's just different than than uh, some of the other ones, and it's and it's you know something I stole online. Um, I just looked up side side views of pistons. Now I want this to be hollow, so I'm going to make this instead of having to hollow it, you know, later. I'm going to hollow it now, and we'll go in here like, let's see, like this. Okay, like I said, I'm not doing sizes on purpose, so you can trim this. This makes it easier, but once you trim it, it gets rid of that dimension. So, uh, and I want to keep that dimension because later if I wanted to change it, I could change it. So then I'm going to go to finish. I'm going to go to revolve. I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to choose for my rotation axis, this. And it should, hopefully, make it hollow. All right. So there's my first step. My first step is my my shape here okay now the next thing I want to do is I want to make a spot for my connecting rod okay I don't know what my connecting rod is uh, the width of it at the top but let's say it's one inch okay or two inches um, make it a number that you can remember like I said before I'm not gonna make a number because I want you to come up with your own number so I'm going to create a, a line here. I'm going to do another line here. Uh, line, 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 line. And I'm going to make it a construction line. And I'll explain why in just a minute. So I'm going to take this from here to here. OK, so that gives me a perfect line in the center. And then I'm going to create a. Um, Let's see here. 
I want this to be centered. And that wasn't vertical. So I will take and I'll make this vertical. Beep. Just like that. All right. So I, w I do want this to be centered. Um, so I'm going to use my dimension tool from here. Hey. Actually, I'll just do this from here to here. And I'll make this, whatever this number is, I'll make this the same here. All right, so that makes it perfectly centered. This is good enough for me. Um, I can, like I said before, I could trim this if I wanted to. Pew, pew. And then I, if see how it's not closed in, it's not like a closed polygon. I'm gonna take the arc tool and draw from here to here. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is just an idea. Um, and I'm gonna take and go it's concentric. It makes those line up. And it is weird that that didn't close in, but I think it'll still work. So let's go to, unless this isn't lined, no, I think that is. Let's try this. Let's go to extrude just to make sure it's going to extrude. Okay, good. Yes. All right, that is going to extrude. Now, before I actually extrude it, I'm going to mirror it over, and it should say, um, oops, I got to go back to that sketch. There we go. Uh, I'm going to mirror it. It says select mirror line. I'm going to select this. I'm going to select this, 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 and this. And then I can finish it and extrude it. And I want to go down. And I'm going to say up to face. And I'm going to select this face. Boom. There's my object. Okay. Now... Um, what I'm going to do is, so this was kind of nice. So with Inventor, you can slice the graphics, but with this one, you can't. I'm going to now create a sketch in, so since I use, I use this as my center point of my revolve, now I can go up and I can select this. Now this plane is perfectly in the center of this object. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle. And you can actually, it is nice uh, with Inventor, it's harder to see this, but with here it, it's not that bad. I can come straight up from here. I can create a circle. And this is going to be the hole for my pin. And uh, I actually, I'm going to take this up a little bit more. And I want you to see that I'm not using any numbers because I want you, I don't want you to copy me. All right. So then I'm going to go to extrude. I want to go symmetric. And I'm going to say uh, remove. And I'm going to say if you come down here. So it should go, whoops. Hey, why is it not going symmetrically? Why is it not going symmetric? Oh, it was. There it is. There's that hole over there. Okay, so uh, the last thing I'm going to do, and this is kind of cool, now I'm going to go to another sketch. Not the last thing, there's one other thing I'm going to do. Um, now I'm going to go to this plane, which is now also dead center. I'm going to go to that view. I'm going to create a line, a construction line because I'm going to use my mirror tool again. And I'm going to create... You can do much better than I can. <laughs> and then I'm going to mirror it. This. Oops. Over this line. And I'm going to choose... That. And there it is. And then I'm going to go to Extrude, and it selects both of them. I'm going to say symmetric, 
or you can say, well, yeah, symmetric, and then remove, and I want to go all the way both ways, so it cuts off, and boom. All right, the last thing I want to do is I know that my connecting rod is moving back and forth this way, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more sketch in this right view or the whatever view that is the side this way. And I am going to create a giant circle straight down from my midpoint. And I want it like, maybe like that. That isn't even for some reason. Oh, that's because I'm going to use my construction line again. Haha, -ha, because those aren't lined up. So I'm going to go co coincident, this to this, and boom. Now it's perfectly even. And then I'm going to go to extrude again. This time I'm going to cut it remove and symmetric and I'm gonna go and it cuts everything off just like that check so you can do a better job than that than I, I can you can move these up you can move you know move your stuff over you can cut this off all the way down uh, you can add fillets um, you can come back in and round all this off on the inside on the underneath and Make it look really nice, you know, however however you want. Um, obviously, you can't interfere with that. But then, you know, you can round things off, and it should look really, really nice when you're done. Okay? That's it.